Hi everybody, this is Photon EM, and today I'm starting a new series and a new game, Space Crew, and I'm just going to go straight into it and then we'll talk about the series as we go. Um, so yeah, I'm going to override, I just have a couple trial saves there. So um, this is a game that I have not beaten yet, Athena Station Low Earth Orbit. UDF embarks on a campaign to prevent the impending Phasmid invasion. Welcome to Athena Station. We have a mission that needs your immediate attention. It appears a module in a comms array by the moon is malfunctioning. We're not expecting any complications. This will serve as a perfect opportunity to go over some basic training. So I'm doing the tutorial. We need to go and retrieve the module, repair it on your ship, and deposit it back into the comms array. Okay, got it. Select your captain. I'm not, I don't know. I'm not going to read all the instructions. Um, I'm doing the tutorial because it's easy money. So, um, deselect your captain, okay. And then we have to do some zooming, and we have to do some, it's gonna make us do some camera panning here, I think. Um, rotate camera, okay, great. Now, okay, tag jump gate. <laughs> Won't let me tag it until I do all of the tutorial stuff. So the easy money at the beginning is really helpful because your ship is terrible at the beginning. So that is why we are doing that. And um, yeah, so Space Crew, it came out this year. I'm not sure exactly when. This is 2020 that I'm recording this, um, December. And then this week it came out with uh, an update that added some new um, challenges and objectives and I will admit I'm not very good at some of the new challenges so looks like we got some uninvited guests our scanners are picking up the incoming phasmid activity to your location we're uncertain how many are still on their way so make sure all your weapon stations are manned okay oops I pressed the wrong button so they want me to put my engineer there and I think they want me to put my security officer here. Okay, great. Tag enemy fighters. Uh, tag. So one of the new things is you can set, select a priority target, which does help you defeat your enemies a little faster. Um, and it, yeah. So um, the challenge for this playthrough is just going to be to get to the end because I have not gotten to the end of this. Um, I stopped my playthrough to uh, do one for YouTube instead, so um, I'm okay at this game. I'm not amazing, so we'll see how it goes. Good work. Looks like that looks like the last of them. Repair the probe and return to base. Okay, so here we go. And there, you know, it's obviously it's a tutorial, so it's pretty micromanagey. They want the engineer here. That wouldn't be my choice because the engineer has to repair the thing, but um, we'll just speed up. And once we get there, um, you can bring it in. Uh, if we ever get there. Okay, select and retrieve. It's interesting because um, I don't really remember having a repair mission like this, at least not early in the game, outside of the tutorial. But I guess it's a way to teach you how to retrieve and deposit, which you do have to do. Alright, now we can return um, to base. Oops, I'm still on accelerated time. So they also added a new... Um, feature that you can turn down the noises that your crew makes and I have not selected that. Um, I don't mind the noises that my crew makes. So, um, so we're leaving it. But I guess if there's some feedback that I need to turn it down, I'm not even sure how to yet. I mean I haven't fiddled around with how to, I'm sure it's easy. So yeah, um, not a super exciting mission, but um, but we need that money. We need that the credits. I think they're called. I do wish you could skip 
that landing scene um, because every single time you land you have to go through it. All right. Okay, so we start out in the mess hall here. So for this playthrough, I'm gonna do panic stations. Um, and then I think these are a little harder. Well, slow time, turning slow time off would be even harder, but I think I need it. The other thing I'm gonna do on this playthrough for YouTube is not reload, because I have a bad habit of reloading this game. This is the mission briefing room. Select a mission for your crew. Okay, let's select the only mission that's available. Enemy forces at Phobos. Another new thing they added is that you can select the waypoints and um, get information about them, but they're so close I'm not able to select the, the waypoint. Enemy forces massing at Phobos must be taken care of. Wipe them all out so we get more money. So yeah, I think it's more money than what you start with normally. Although this is a real combat mission, there are still a few features of the ship that we'll need to try out. Some points during the mission, some control of your ship and crew will be locked for training purposes. Okay, launch. Uh, click the mouse wheel or spacebar to toggle. Uh, oops, I missed the spacebar. <laughs> and I don't think it's letting me um, change their stations right now, so we'll just leave it the way it is. This is going to be an easy mission anyway. Fully charged and ready for hyper jump. Okay, before you hyper jump, let's run through how your ship's reactor works. Select your engineer. Um, I really don't want to read all that. Basically, when you charge your engines, it takes power away from other stuff. Okay, continue. Um, since I have a baby reactor, I only have enough energy to charge engines or power other stuff. After you complete your hyperjump reactor output will be returned previously set balance and everything will be operational again. That's great. That's just great. Let's engage. So I think most people who watch this playthrough probably have already played it, um, this game. Select your engineer, reduce gravity. Okay, it won't let me do anything for a second. I see that. Okay, that's good. That's great. Notice your gravity generator is indicating not enough power. Okay. Energy weapons require power in order to operate. They're more effective with more power. Non-energy weapons do not some sum. Select your security officer, and then it makes me put him here, which is not my choice. Notice how your security officer has difficulty moving around. Oh, just a sec. Okay, sorry about that. That was um, a knock at my door. But look, here's effects volume. We'll just try crew volume, turning it down a little bit. And back to the game. Okay, yes. Um, enemies incoming, full ship and crew controls have been returned to you. Okay. Enemies incoming. Well, in that case, let's move security officer here, and you can go there. Set your reactor power to your preference and move your crew to weapon stations as required. Okay. Will do. Um, so we'll just priority tag something. Ooh, I got the angle all messed up. There we go. So I did change the setting to Panic Station. I don't know if that affects this tutorial mission, though. So far it doesn't seem to. Um, but I'm not sure exactly, you know, does that make the enemies tougher or does it have more enemies? I didn't really research it. You can probably look at the screen next time. Um, so yeah, this is a different playthrough for me in that I think I probably have 50 or 60 hours in this game, I didn't check. Um, usually if I do a YouTube series, it's because, oh, whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Um, you know, like I want to do some kind of special advanced challenge in the game, and that's not what's going on here. I just want to finish the game, and I thought it'd be fun to do it as a series. It can get pretty exciting with 
Um, yeah, we are gonna go to the first station. Okay. Um, if I only have one enemy left, I'll just tag wherever it is that I'm going to. Oh no, that's not where I want to go. I want to go here. Um, if there's just one enemy left, I'll start heading to the um, jump station. You know, just to get a jump on it. Mm. I think I need coffee after that one. Okay, so here we are. We've got to clear some enemies. They've got to show up first. So the enemies show up on this little radar down here, but I don't find it particularly useful. I find it kind of hard to read. It's easier just to see red dots in the sky. But I guess when they're first coming it might be. Um, I'm not sure if I mentioned, but I always pick a focus target. Or I try to, just so that um, it whittles them down faster so our shields last longer. Okay, and get a new target. New target. I think that's the last one. Yeah, so panic stations doesn't seem to. Oh, there's more coming. Affect the tutorial. And I saw more over here. Okay. And the targeting system isn't like super. Um, I don't know what you'd say. It, um, the controls aren't that delicate. Like, you just have to kind of do your best to target something. Now, for some reason, they're not even they're not even trying to hit the main target. <laughs> That's fine, I guess. Um, but yeah, like trying to choose between these two, it's just whichever one comes up first. Really, if they're in the same screen, I just click on it, uh, and then there's no reason to target the last one. Um, Okay, I guess I already have a waypoint set. Charge. I didn't know I had set that waypoint earlier. Here we go. There's one more part of the tutorial, I think, one or two, on this screen. Let's go to base. There we go. Where you return to Athena, we'll explain a little about your captain's piloting modes. Select your captain. You can select the current piloting mode on the station panel, but I can't. It's not letting me. I can or I can't? Come on. Let's make up your mind. Currently, as the jump gate waypoint has been tagged, you can see that waypoint light is highlighted. Let's try canceling the waypoint. Okay. Press patrol to cancel the waypoint. Notice how the jump gate was untagged. Tag it again to switch back to follow waypoint and continue the journey. All right. Let's do that. Alright, engage! Um, take Athena Station to land. Coffee. Need it. I woke up in the middle, so I just woke up, but it's not early in the morning. I woke up in the middle of the night and then went back to bed early in the morning. So I'm kind of thrown off today. See that whole landing sequence? I'd really like to um, have something else. Or just like be able to skip it. Just a little skip button down here. So fast forward, okay. So if you skip the tutorial, you start with all of this. And you start with these unlocked too, so maybe it doesn't give you extra money. Hmm. Okay, crew gear. Number one. We are going to 
Oh, in the crew gear room, you can customize your crew's gear. Different crew gear will have different properties such as resistance, damage, radiation, or mobility. Okay, so first off, we'll just give everybody this basic gear loadout. And then I am a female. I like to play with a mostly female crew at least. Um, and let's give them, I want them all to have the same hair. Um, okay, we'll leave Kozel off. He'll be our, our token. Token male, not token. He, yeah, it just happens that he has skin color too. I did not mean that. Um, okay, so I think we're good to go. Recruitment, just if you haven't played this before, on the um, basic setting you can only have six um, crew members, so we can't recruit anybody. But what I was going to do is look at this. Okay. So Panic Station, the odds are further stacked against you, only recommended for experienced players. So it doesn't say if it increases the um, number of enemies or how tough they are or what. So I probably would have got the same amount of money skipping the tutorial. Should I do over? No, I'm not going to do over. Um, transport supplies. So, transport supplies is 2,000 and 1,000 research, um, and fast, clear phasmid forces is 1,500 credits and 500 research, so we're going to do transport supplies. I like transport supplies. Um, it's a good mission because it pays well and it's fairly easy. Um, so, those are good things. Oh, whoops. I, oh, no, wait. We can't change the ship yet. Oh, okay, let's go over some equipment on your ship. Equipment is stored in the equipment racks around the ship. You can customize your ship's equipment loadout between missions at the Athena station. There are four types of equipment, space shoots, suits, fire extinguishers, phase rifles, and med kits. As a training exercise, we've started a controlled fire at the back of the ship for your crew to put out. And they want you to put it out. You, why you? Okay, extinguish fire. Okay, wait for your engineer to put out the fire. Stow the fire extinguisher. And occasionally your engines may become damaged. This will cause them to leak radiation in your ship, harming your crew. To repair engines, you'll have to send a crew member out of the ship. Make sure they pick up a space chute be suit before going out. We've marked an engine as damaged. Let's try to repair it now. Okay, you. Get on your spaceship. Suit, I mean. Get on your spacesuit. Uh huh. And wait for them to repair. Can I accelerate time? Yes. Okay. That's good because why did they make the repair take so long for the tutorial? It's just little things like that. Um, return your engineer. So I could have stowed the spacesuit suit before returning him like that. You will need to use phase rifles if Phasmids board your ship. If one of your crew members is incapacitated, you can have another crew member use a med kit to revive them. That's the end of items training. Continue with your mission. Okay. Will do. So, at the beginning, you definitely need safest route. I mean, I need it. Um, the faster route is, like, very dangerous when your ship is in the early stages. Um, okay. To objective. So I'll always just start navigating to it, um, even though I've got enemies incoming. That way we're at least a little bit closer. I might as well tag one of them. I mean, prioritize one of them. Is that it? Just those three? Okay, so Trick where I can now do attack. And these guys can do focus fire. And this one can go to a weapon station. And I'm pretty sure my engineer can do boost already. Let's prioritize one of these. Because I think the other one is um, dead. Okay, so boost. We can increase our weapons and our shields will come out of the gravity. 
and we'll prioritize another one. So this is at least an actual battle. Our shields went lower. One thing about this game, you can tell if you've cleared everybody out by whether this thing over here allows you to accelerate time. Uh, I might need to adjust the mouse controls. I've noticed the controls are a little bit different since the last time I played. I don't think it's the most recent update. I think it's an update before it because I kind of took a little break from this game. It is fun, but I was playing the Oxygen Not Included challenge. So I guess I could, you know, the reason I'm not doing another Oxygen Not Included challenge is that the DLC came out. So the challenge I was doing, you can still do, you can play in the vanilla game still, but it just seems obsolete to do a Temporal Tear challenge. Um, so I haven't really, and then I did play in the closed alpha and I also um, bought the early access beta, but um, I don't love it yet. It's pretty tedious right now the way that it is. I don't really want to build a base on every asteroid um, and I haven't really figured out how to change it, you know, how to make it so that it it would be a good, fun challenge to me. So I'm kind of just waiting until more content comes out. There's some phasma technology debris near your position. Scan it so that our researchers can learn something. Okay, so we'll just zoom over to there. And um, scan. This is really good because the more research we unlock at the beginning, we can upgrade our ship. Um, pretty soon though it'll get to where we don't have enough money to upgrade our ship rather than research. I definitely need more coffee. Try to set it down gently so the mic doesn't like, you know, pick up some loud bonking noise, but I don't, I don't know. Um, I'm recording remotely, so I don't really have the ability to set things up nicely. I finally got my camera working with my laptop, but I think, I'm sorry, you can still see the rings in my glasses, but it looks better than having the light off, so I just decided we're going to have to deal with it. Um, okay. But yeah, I don't have the full setup, so... Okay. Oh yeah, let's go to attack and boost and focus fire. And then if you leave the station with boost active, it just cancels the boost. It doesn't um, it doesn't like keep going. Um, so I try to keep them or her. I can't remember if I can't remember now. Oh yeah, they're all hers except for Kozlov. Um, try to keep her there until the boost runs out and then we'll go to the weapon station. See, it does get a little bit exciting, um, which is why then my brain shuts down and I can't talk. Or maybe it's the coffee excuse, I don't know. Come on! Yeah, I might just like off-camera fiddle with some of the... Oh no, I don't want to go there yet. Fiddle with some of the mouse controls, because I need them to be a little faster when I'm in tagging mode. Am I still in on tag? No. I accidentally tagged desk rear. Okay, so now boost is over, so we'll go to the weapon station. Well, maybe we'll fix the... that. There we go. And how many enemies do we have left? Just the one? Okay. Okay. 
so hmm. So it's actually better to um, take some power from weapons and put them into engines when you're going through asteroids. I mean, unless you need the weapons. Because um, the engines help you maneuver around asteroids. And this is another one. This is fine the first time around. You get this little animation. But uh, I'd like to be able to skip it later on. Okay, and then we'll heal up. Oh, let's see. Give us some gravity. We'll heal up the comms person because um, it's like really hard to heal him during battle. Except I'm not 100% sure. I think we want what our next waypoint is. I think we want, yeah, I'm pretty sure we want to go to Venus. And then as soon as they come out, we'll heal up the engineer. That way, once we jump, everybody's healed. Uh, let's do engines. <laughs> so our real- damn it. How did that asteroid come up and hit us from behind? It's so stupid. Okay. So I haven't noticed a big difference with the panic stations yet, but I did play a little bit further in. Um, okay, so now there's some technology for us to pick up. There's a dropped cargo pad of this pod of essential resources in your current sector. If you can get them back to base, it would mean a few extra credits. Okay. I like extra credits. Um, so you can go... First of all, give me some gravity. And, oh, it won't let me accelerate time, so there's some enemies coming. Okay. Um, pretty sure we can grab this while we're fighting. If there's only two, I'm gonna do that, because who cares? But if more of them come in, we will. Um, which one do we want to prioritize? Okay, retrieve. Okay, what? Okay, you? Okay, we retrieved it, so I'll just fix this. This is the shields. Are there any more enemies? No. Wow, this is slow repair. See, it bugs me to have this floating around. I always stow it, but the tutorial made me not stow it, and now it would be stupid to pick it up and stow it. So, what is, what's a girl to do? Actually, let's go here. Alright, cool. I already take that. Yep. Tab to accelerate time. And see how it stopped? Because I've got more incoming. It almost feels a little bit... It's a little bit cheesy, like it's kind of too easy. Put attack formation. And then these two can focus fire. And we're so close, I'll just keep it on attack formation until they're both destroyed. I do kind of wish you could fast forward during the battle, but it would have to be something you couldn't accidentally hit, right? It'd have to be a button that wasn't easy to accidentally hit. Which, because for me, I, you know, I'm accidentally hitting buttons all the time. Wow, we got pretty far away from the Hypergate, just killing those two. Now look how damaged Pal got. We're not gonna heal though, because we're almost back to this. Okay, so... where are you? Oh, I thought... I guess I wasn't paying attention. Where are we? At the moon? Yeah. 
Okay, enemies incoming. Where are they? We can accelerate time till they get here. Which is kind of handy. And you can go back here and boost the weapons. I don't know which one helps more. But that's what we're going to do. And we'll do attack formation. And I don't know, focus fire isn't ready yet. So. Ooh. And then we'll do a priority. Ah. The little round ones are the ones that can board you, and I couldn't tell if that was a round one or not. I don't think so on this mission, but just in case. Okay, two left. I saw those before they had this... Yeah, they're still at comms. How's our boost doing? So I didn't heal Powell because I thought we were skipping to base. I wasn't paying attention, I guess. Um, so I hope they are okay. Sorry about my energy level. <laughs> It's just, um, one of those mornings, I guess. Okay, Powell, don't die. Um, yeah, it's definitely not. Athena Station is home, so we are definitely not going to heal. Okay. Here we go. And we'll tab into it. And then I think this will be, we'll see what we got, and then um, that'll be the end of our first episode. Because I think, I'm not sure, because I had to step out, and I didn't pause it when I stepped out, but I think we're at about 25-30 minutes. Yeah, why can't we skip all that? Okay, like here we can fast forward. Didn't we scan something too? How come that wasn't on there? I know we had- we scanned something. Did I stop the scan before it was over? Hmm. Request fighter support is an awesome ability. Okay, and then we can upgrade our ship, which we will do at the start of the next one. Why is it saying crew gear? It's just because I didn't click on- I'm just gonna get rid of those. Here we go. So anyway, um, thanks for watching uh, Space Crew Episode 1. This is Photon EM, and I will see you in the next one.